tickled the carb. I've tickled my carb. Is it in neutral? Can't tell. Battery's too flat. <laughs> right, we're going to start the bike. I'm going to try attempt number one. <laughs> hey, asshole. I want you to tell me what that man's name is. I... I don't know. You don't know? Now that's okay. Hello, welcome to part 7, I believe, of the Honda CG125 Brazil rebuild project bike. It's in phase 1 still, so it doesn't really matter what the term is, and let's get it presentable, safe, maintained and ready for the MOT. So, the handlebars are a bit crooked at the minute because I took off the mounts to paint them because they were a bit shoddy. So we'll get them back on, that will hold the handlebars in place. The uh, carb cover has been painted, but it looks shit, so it's got some kind of contaminant on the metal, so I need to take it all the way back to the metal and clean it and then repaint it. But for now, it'll do for the MOT. As you can see, we have some bits. We have got the pod filter, which looks quite mean, actually. I am definitely a bit of a chav at heart, but that will look quite nice, both aesthetically and aesthetically won't make any difference other than make it much more difficult to get running properly but we'll get the bit running properly and fit that probably post MOT replacement grips thanks for uh, the suggestions on cutting the dropped it. I dropped it earlier look got it dirty already um, these are the new grips they're just bike it cheap rubber grips but they will suffice perfectly well. Uh, yeah, thanks for the suggestions uh, and help with the grips. The aftermarket one I fitted that didn't fit, I could not get it off. There was no way of getting that off without cutting it, so I couldn't trim the throttle tube. Not that I particularly wanted to, but thanks for the suggestion anyway. Um, I've also recovered the seat. I don't want to show you the seat until this isn't it, until I um, show you the bike. It's a bit more complete, so it'll make a big difference. That's the old cover. It's shocking. <laughs> it's a bit of history, that is. 22, 23 year old seat cover. 15,000 miles somebody's bottom's been on that, more or less. So, anyway, don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to chuck it over there for now. The mudguard is repaired in so much as ready for the MOT. It's not been bolted in, I was just seeing how it looked. Um, it's not perfect and it's never going to be perfect because it's wrecked. I did manage to get a decent, you can't really see that can you, a decent enough edge on the front and it's fiberglass on the inside, it's plastic welded on the outside, it's been rough sanded, it's been painted, just needs to attach to the bracket and then the bracket to the forks. But essentially it'll do for the MLT but it definitely needs replaced, it's in shocking condition. The other obvious addition is obviously the petrol tank, um, it's raining at the minute been the great storm this morning so I can't really give you a better view. Um, the tank is not good enough but it's presentable and it's on and I have an idea for what to do after the MOT so not too fast which is good because it's stressing me out a bit that I couldn't get it right. I was trying to paint it in, in here or in equally unsuitable places um, due to time and time so everywhere I've painted it has not been clean enough or free from airborne dust etc and I've gotten something on the finish every time so I was getting annoyed with it so fuck it it'll do I'll make a better job of it when I know what I'm going to do with it long term anyway the tank is on I need to bolt it down which is one bolt so I need to put that bolt in but I also need to fit a fuel filter so I'm going to fit the fuel filter bolt the tank down get some petrol in it get the handlebars reattached get that carb cover on need to slightly adjust the throttle return uh, refit the front mud guard for now not a lot of jobs to do put the seat on because that will look the business once the bike's running test the electrics and it, it's it's the air filter maybe and the battery box I'm still waiting for the battery box which is fine because I'm just over the moon it's getting done and I can only say thank you yet again and when that arrives I need to get that primed and Fit, painted and fitted and then, then that's it really I do have a bit of a problem with the front wheel um, but I can't show you in here I'll hopefully be able to show you a little bit later on 
if the weather eases up. So I hope everyone survived the great storm. Uh, it rained all night for me and then it hammered down just after 6am when I was travelling through Northampton and it got to the point of 10-15 foot visibility with heavy rain and I'd say an inch or two fell on even the uphill parts of the road in a very short space of time which made it quite good fun for 20 minutes but otherwise that was it so yeah hope everyone survived all right and let's see what we can get done today all right rain has eased off so now I get a chance to see it out in the open I have reattached the handlebar mount so I can move the bike around just need to <laughs> fine-tune them so they're a little bit the wrong angle and I need to fit the rear number plate, I forgot about that job, so that's a big one. The other thing is the rear indicator, that is a rear indicator. They used to come out on brackets that came out and down, which brought them out from, say, that width to this width, which meant the number plate in the middle didn't block them. Currently, with that so close to the frame, you can't see the indicators past the number plate, so we need to get the brackets out and either put the old ones on for the MOT or figure out how to attach the new ones to the brackets which probably involves prepping and painting them as well okay it's been pretty busy out here so not been able to vlog too much but uh, the mud guard what's left of it is back on took a bit of fettling but it's on it does need replaced but it should hopefully do for the MOT and uh, the number plate is back on at a rather funky angle but it's back on that should be okay as well so next job is to replace the grips. I'm going to give in and show you the seat. Ash Park 208's just arrived and it's starting up time once to get the fuel filter on. But this is how it looks. This is MOT ready, not modified, remember, so bear in mind lots more to change. Still have to do the indicators, won't really pass an MOT like that. There we go. There's the new seat. Tickled the carb. I've tickled my carb. Is it in neutral? Can't tell. Battery's too flat. <laughs> right, we're going to start the bike. I'm going to try. Attempt number one. Um. Yes, we're in neutral. Good. Position off. Here we go. Drum Traction. roll. Drum roll, please. Quarter throttle. Ooh. Come on. It's not tempting to fire. No. And then you click title and you can say. Can you watch for spark? Yeah. The spark in? Yeah, definitely. Because I actually didn't see a spark. Wow. Oh, Right, attempt number two. Here we go. It's gonna work this time. Come on, live Honda. <laughs> oh. Yay! We have life! <laughs> right. Oh. right. What happened? I don't know. <laughs> why why did it go and then not go? Hmm. 